Hi everybody, this is Jake, your resident content cowboy here, yee-haw, and today I'm bringing you a video, a special requested video from Eric Franklin. Eric wanted me to do Divine Shaman, so I'm just going to walk through the basic ideas of a Divine Shaman build. Even though Divine Shaman has kind of fallen off a little bit due to a lot of nerfs, I feel like you don't see Divine as much anymore, which... I personally think is pretty cool. I felt like every game I was playing, you had multiple people, like three people going a Divine build and they often did pretty well. Right now, Divine Shaman really isn't the top, top thing anymore. And we are going to just play through kind of the basic ideas of Divine Shaman. What's cool about it, maybe why it's not so popular anymore and how I like to build through it, which there are a few ways to do it. You could build through, you know, Divine Knights and then put your Shamans in there. You could build through, uh, you could build a lot of things and then switch all the units at the end if you like. Oh, I mean, look at all those beautiful mechs. Hmm. Well, I could sell you and take at least two of them. To talk part of me wants to lock for these mechs. Another part of me is like, why? You're locking for a Skybreaker. Maybe if it was multiple uh, Heaven Bombers, I would lock for them. But anyway, so uh, the way I like to build through Shamans oftentimes is with Cave. I think Cave is pretty strong, and it helps you deal with the fact that you might lose a little bit until you get the units you want. I'm not sure who our like, nutty little Divine units going to be, but there are a few great options here. And item-wise, we've already got a few choices that work for us. We've got a Broken Sword and Magicka Crystal giving us that Teleport Dagger. Another Ripper. We're going Goblin crazy right now. Uh, so we've got we've got the Broken Sword and Magicka Crystal. That gives us a Teleport Dagger. Very, very important for a lot of Divine builds to have that Teleport Dagger. We also have a Magicka Staff, which could be combined to make a Pulse Staff, another really good item for Divine builds. Other items that you're going to look, uh, look for a python wand for whoever your sort of little hyper carry divine unit's gonna be whether it's an argali knight or a water spirit um in here uh both these items are possibilities in the future the life crystal gives us that python wand and the lucky coin gives us this uh ice armor ice plate mail two good pieces for this build moving forward there's nothing we really need here. I'll just grab these Whisper Seers in case I can get an early two-star unit at some point. Uh, and yeah, from here, I might wait until round 10 to see what we get, but I could also just make a Teleport Dagger right now. It's a really, really good item for a Divine build. So, with this build, Divine Shaman, it uh, really turns on at level eight. The units you need is sort of your one crazy Divine unit. Water Spirit, Argali Knight, I think are really great choices. You need your Shamans, which would be ideally Lava Shaman, Cave Shaman, and that new Shaman, Sun Chaser Shaman, I think is the name. So you get those three Shamans, you get those, uh, you get the Water Spirit or Argali Knight there, there's four units, and then you have your Divine Synergy, which is your Goddess of Light, your God of War, and the two wizards you need, one being Grand Herald. And that's eight units. Boy, I'm doing a lot with my fingers right now. <laughs> like counting it off. And that's eight. That number means eight. Okay, let's see here. Um, I could put this panda out, just see if it gets us anything good. Maybe we can just take this, you know. I'll just take it as if I'm positive I'm going this direction. I'm making a teleport dagger. Who do I want to put it on? I'm going to put it on Ripper. What's your cooldown, Ripper? Six seconds. Yeah, I'm putting it on Ripper. Ripper's going to be my teleport daggering Ripper. Something that no one's ever done. With good reason. Okay, so once you have those eight units, you kind of have the basis of your build. The two wizards give you that four shaman synergy, so they all transform. And then you've got the divine synergy, uh, letting one of your units kind of be your hyper nutty carry bouncing around the battlefield. And you also get that nice cave synergy moving forward. So I'll kind of show you when I level uh, and all that, what seems to work best for this build. But 
It also depends on what units you grab. Because um, you can play this through... Ooh, there's our Water Spirit. You can play this through with a Lost Streak until you get all the units you need. I will take you instead of this Panda. And I could actually level here. I can get rid of these guys. Sure. I'll level. Just get one more unit on the board. I'll put that Panda back out there, actually. Why not? Panda, you protect. Okay, so back to what I was talking about. Uh, depending on what units you get uh, and whether you're on a win streak or a loss streak or what's happening, that's going to depend on when you level. But basically, if you have all eight of these units, I would highly recommend spending whatever gold you have and getting to level eight. Uh, until then, you're just kind of piecing this build together, leveling uh, to level six probably before this creep round unless you're on a huge loss streak and then leveling again uh around the next creep round let's see we've got some of the units we need here changes. we did get a heart of mech which i like i'll take this panda and i'll use this heart of mech free roll to see swordman is a good transition unit for us uh he works because he's cave and a lot of the units you know we're, we're going to be looking for a cave we don't need him though I could roll once more. I've been looking to star up two people, right? Hmm. Live by the sword, Three people, actually. By the sword. So, Swordman's a possibility because, again, we're going to be moving through cave. But right now, I'm just using mechs. Hopefully, I win a round or two. And, uh... Ooh, we got a lot of knights here. I doubt I'm winning this. But if we win a round or two, we get that free roll. And I, if I can use that to continue to get free rolls, I'll do it, you know. If we had a two-star Ripper teleporting around the battlefield or a two-star Heaven Bomber, we would have a higher chance of winning. Just gives us more rolls, more gold, more opportunities to find the units we're looking for. I like mech early on because it gives you that ability to find some units. Later, you know, it really falls off. And then now six mech is almost impossible to get because a lot of games you don't even get the opportunity. Okay. Soulbreaker, I'll two-star you. Do I grab the Swordman? I think I do. I think I grab Swordman here, and I think I roll once. Let's see. Skull Hunter, I could kind of use you. Let me roll once more. Lava Shaman. I'll take Lava Shaman instead. I do need this cave to come out eventually, and I can actually get it out here. I can get it out here now, but I lose mech. I'm going to switch my dagger over. Give it to our two-star unit. Next round, I'll level. So, again, uh, we're going to be looking to get to level 8 once we have all the units we need. Use that Divine Synergy to make one unit really, really crazy. Ideally, like a Water Spirit or a Golly Knight. Uh, you can't really do it with Swordman because you're going to have multiple Cave Clan units on the board. So, Swordman will not take advantage of that Divine Synergy, unfortunately. I'll level here, put out a Shaman, and put out a Swordman, and I'm going to get rid of these Pandas. So, I could roll and secure a win. I do have a free roll. I'll do one. Ooh, wow. Ooh, early Sun Chaser Shaman. That's really nice. So, this is a unit we need. One of the harder ones to find. It's a four-cost Shaman. So, Sun Chaser Shaman's one of our units. Who do we got so far? Part of our final crew. We've got one, two, three, four, five. We got five of them. Five of the eight units we need to make this the basis of our Divine Summoner. Excuse me, Divine Shaman. If I've been saying Summoner, boy, I hope not. Divine Shaman build. So, yeah. Cave is always good early. A little cave and mech early is nice. You're not gonna, you're not guaranteeing a win, but it's really beneficial. Oftentimes you'll win with a little cave early. Goddess of Light and Lava Shaman and Grand Herald. Wow, a lot of the units we need. So I'm gonna start getting rid of these mechs here, even though a lot of them are close to leveling. I just need to make room for the units I actually want. Ladies and gentlemen, my personal showtime. This shouldn't be too hard of a, a round for us here. I could switch it a little bit. I could get Divine out there instead of Mech, which I might end up doing here pretty soon. 
Red Axe Chief, do we grab ya? I don't know. We could get four cave. Let's see, Rune Hammer. Rune Hammer's good for that uh, Python wand that we want. And item wise, we have the Cattle Hide Armor and the Lucky Coin. We also have a Life Crystal to make the Python one. So we have a few options here. Unit wise, this is nobody we need right now. I wonder if it's just time. I'm just gonna drop these mechs here. Who would we put out? We got three units here. I don't have enough to level yet. I could put out one. I could put out two divine. Hmm. Let's get rid of these mechs. Just make things a little easier for me to look at. <laughs> put out two divine units. Give us that divine synergy in case we lose. And I could still keep the item on Soulbreaker here. Because Soulbreaker's not triggering a synergy. Neither is Water Spirit. And then we've got Cave. And in case we lose, which is totally possible, I've got our Goddess of Light out there. So just moving further into this build. Right now, since we don't have any two-star units, we don't have, like... <laughs> None of this is ideal. The only one who's like kind of in a good position is that two-star soul breaker just being able to cast a lot, you know? And it worked out okay. Let's see, another soul breaker. Grim Touch. Grim Touch is a possibility for our build. Um, it is a wizard. We do need this wizard. Right now, I could put out... Um, I could level. Do I have enough? I need 15 gold. I don't have enough to level right now unless I sold something. But I could put out our four divine next level and just drop one of our two assassins for the moment. Water spirit's better long term just because of how good it is like shooting around the battlefield with that water spirit. But right now, since it's a two star, I'll hang out with Soulbreaker. It's useful. He's useful for the moment. Yeah, and this is going to be a, a loss. Look at all these two stars. Pandas and goblins. Don't you just love to see it? Man, I love pandas and goblins. Okay. And some of these losses are to be expected. While well, we're just kind of building up money here and not rolling super hard. Wow, we got Storm Shaman. And Soul Devourer. Oh my goodness. We got like everything we want. Okay. So, I think we've got all eight units, right? We got one... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Should I count eight and eight? Yeah, we got all eight. So now I just need to get to level eight. Uh, I'd also like to star these people up, but just in general, I want to get to level eight because I've got my whole build here. my The whole basis of my build. So I just want to save some money right now and then get us to level eight. That's all I'm thinking about. Level eight, baby. And once we're there, I'm taking a sip of my coffee here, as you can see, coffee time. It's coffee time on Jake's YouTube channel. This is a time when Jake should be paying attention to what he's doing, but he's drinking a ton of cold brew coffee. Enough cold brew coffee to get him singing. Well, he's singing about what happens in auto chess. Yeah. He's acting like it's a joke, but he started singing when he got his coffee. Selling his sword man for some money. Ooh, strange egg. Okay, I'll hold on to your strange egg. I don't have anyone that I want to start up with strange egg right away, but if I find a sun chaser shaman or a storm shaman, I'll strange egg him. I'll do it. So, uh, again, all we're looking to do here is get to level 8 very, very soon. I can get to level 7 on this next creep round. This next creep round is actually a little dangerous for me. I could put out 3 cave with 2 wizards. That might be the way to go, just to survive this little creep round here. You know? We'll see. We'll see what ends up happening. Because we don't have any of these units 2 starred. And that's going to be really bad come, a, come this creep round. They're going to eat us all alive, these wolves. And I always lose this creep round because of decisions like this. So if I want to not lose it, I'm going to have to do something. Let's see. Hey, Lava Shaman. Star you up. I'm going to level 
at least to seven here. I don't have enough to get to eight yet. So leveling to seven, what I could do, I could put out you and I could swap you for you and I could swap you. This would give us, we need to move everybody. Oh no, we're not gonna move. I'm not gonna be able to move these fast enough. <laughs> it's too slow. So we probably lost. But I have four cave. Uh, the reason for this is it just gives us long enough to hopefully let our uh, assassin kill everybody. That's the thought process. Enough HP to kill everyone. And I don't know if it's gonna happen, honestly. So we'll see. We'll see if it works out. It might not. Mm, looks like it did. Okay. Swordman's gonna go very soon. Once we're at level 8, especially, Swordman's gotta go. Uh, Alright, item-wise, I can now take this life crystal here. What did I find? A wooden stick, right? Okay. I can now take this life crystal, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab this guy right here. I'm gonna grab this guy right here. And I'm gonna grab this guy right here. This is gonna make me my ice plate mail and this is going to make me my python wand i think they're very good items for our divine carry here okay we got another water spirit that's good doom's actually good for our build but i don't need doom right now i could i could keep this build for the moment i could just have this like hang out you can go over here you can generate some mana for everybody Mm, maybe you can be over there. Let's see what's gonna happen here. All right, um, anyone on the board? No, everyone on the board we need. So, we need gold to get to level eight. That's what I'm hoping for right now. Gold to get to level eight and starring up any of my important people to star up. That's what we need. Right now we're just using Soul Breaker. I'd rather it be Water Spirit, but he's two star and he's doing fine. Ooh, Storm Shaman. I'll egg Storm Shaman. About not very effective. Try love is power. But Just to help our build a little bit here. Um, let's see. We're still under level 8. I could have waited. I could have... Let's see. If I would have held that 4 gold... No, I still don't have enough to do it. If I would have held the 4 gold and sold the egg, I could have locked my board for that Storm Shaman and leveled to 8, but I'm fine with waiting another round here. We're going to be getting to level 8 very, very soon. Once we are level 8, Sun Chaser Shaman comes out on the board. Uh, Swordman leaves. And then I think... I think... Who else am I looking for at that point? I think that's everybody, right? That's like the basis of my build. I think so. Let me think. I got to think more. Because I could swap Swordman right now for a Shaman, and I could have that for Shaman right now, actually. I guess that would be okay, huh? I just will only have two Divine. That's an option. That's probably a good, a good way to go also, right? I love Cave. It's going to be leaving me, though. Let's see. Swordman. Okay. So, I've got 29 gold. That is enough, correct? I need 25, which means I need more than 25, because it's in increments of four. Am I gonna miss this? <laughs> uh, I need 25, and I think it's gonna cost me 28 to do it. I'm just gonna do it. Yeah, that's right, it cost me 28. That's what I thought. I was like, is that right? Pull these back. Get. I'll do some positioning with these momentarily. This is bad positioning right now. But right now we have our four Shaman, so they are going to transform. And we also have our Divine Synergy that's going to help out our little carry, which right now is a Soul Breaker. Uh, not the best choice. And we also have our Cave, uh, which helps out our little carry as well. So... This is the, the basics of a divine build. Again, I'm using this soul breaker instead of who I'd rather be using, which is uh, this water spirit. Or an Argali knight, also a very good choice. Let's see. 
Okay. Positioning-wise, this is something I always struggle with. I'm not great with positioning. I've got a guide over here that just kind of has some basic tips for positioning on it uh, from Kobe. Kobe made this awesome uh, resource just for what's going on in the meta right now. And I'm just going to kind of copy it a little bit and <laughs> just see what I can do here. Mm, you here ish you here Ugh. i almost got it i almost got it kind of set up here his is once you have nine units on the board i think but it's just kind of spacing out your shaman so that they don't all die right away and we're going to be looking to get rid of this soul breaker now that we're level eight i can start rolling and starring some of these people up especially that water spirit and swapping it for soul breaker it's just not as good uh as soul breaker Excuse me, Soul Breaker is not as good as Water Spirit. <laughs> Let's see. So this is just kind of some positioning here, moving everyone around a little bit. It would be ideal to have someone right here in that spot. Let's see. This is going to be a little bit of a tough round for us, huh? I don't know if I love frontlining Soul Breaker like this, but here we go. I think I'm just going to swap this for this particular encounter anyway. So, here we have Divine Shaman. You have the benefits of Shaman. You've got that nice cave bonus that goes to everyone. And then you also have that four Divine, which can give you a crazy little hyper carry that bounces around the battlefield that is now getting targeted and killed early on. Perfect. Okay. Item-wise, from here, there's a few ways you can go. Sun Chaser Servant is not bad later, much later. Argali Knight. Let's see if we can find either one of these. Ooh, Sun Chaser, yes. Doom is good later. No. Goddess, we've already got. Red X, we don't need. Sun Chaser's later. Grand Herald, boy. I'm really hoping to find a two-star version of this Water Spirit or possibly swap it with our Golly Knight. But right now, I do think this two-star Soul Breaker is... I'm going to pull him back just so he doesn't get frontlined. Is a little more ideal than a one-star Argali or one-star Water Spirit. Either one of them two-starred, I'd, I'd put him on the battlefield right away. And let's see. Once I two-star Sun Chaser, Grand Herald-ish, and our Ultra Carry, I can possibly move to level 9 if I want to put Doom out there or something like that. I also can have both Water Spirit and Argali Knight on the board at the same time. Both good for the build. Let's see. And luckily, we're on a little bit of a win streak here, so we're not worried about our health. Uh, Item-wise, I found a Magicka Staff. I think I'm going to take that. Increased damage is important for these folks. God of War. War never changes. God of War. Killing Jeez. Life. Trust me. Mm. I'm going to sell Doom. I really want to find one of these two people. Man, oh man. Nobody. Okay. I really want Argali Knight or Water Spirit on the board instead of the Soul Breaker because Argali Knight and Water Spirit both have better abilities than Soul Breaker. Soul Breaker's damage is nice, but it's targeted damage, and I like the crowd control damage from Argali Knight, which also has a heal, or Water Spirit, which just like hurts everybody on the battlefield. I'm kind of shocked that I haven't found either of them. Do we have a soul devour? No, not yet. Wow, wow, wow. I'm just like blowing money here, but I really need to find one of these units. Hmm. Okay. Does somebody else have them? Is it like really popular? What am I looking at here? We got knights, so it'll be it's gonna be hard to find our golly. We got one, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of our golly. It's gonna be hard to find this unit. I'll roll once more. There you are, Water Spirit. Thank goodness. I'm gonna just put a bunch of items on you. I love Water Spirit in this build. It's 
not the absolute best uh, all the time. And, you know, it kind of, I feel like this build has fallen out of favor a little bit, but boy, it's so fun. You know, what I could do is I could have both of them out there for a moment, but I think more likely once I get to level nine, I'll put a different unit out there. Like uh, even that Sun Chaser Servant or whatever to give us that totem, that could be nice. Or just a unit like Doom, someone who's just really brutal in there. Or of course a five cost legendary, which I haven't really even thought about. Our golly night again. I might grab you. I get rid of you. I would really like to star up Sun Chaser Shaman. We're on a win streak. I'd really like to star up Sun Chaser Shaman. These two aren't as important to me. Boy, with three units to star up, it feels like rolling is not a bad idea. Let's do it. I, I guarantee I'm going to do this and find nobody, but. Lava Shaman, Doom. All right, there's our Doom. And possible, ooh, God of War. I'm gonna grab God of War instead. I don't need to three star Lava Shaman. I don't often three star Lava Shaman, I feel like, as part of this build. I don't grab enough of those units. It's not that beneficial. Who do we have as legendaries? We do have Scryer. So, or did I say, yeah, Scryer. We do have Scryer, which is a great one for us. Scryer can replace, uh, you know, Sun Chaser. It can also replace one of our Lava Shaman or Cave. The tough thing about it is I like that Cave synergy that I get from it, but it might might have to go. Where are you? Strange Egg. All right. Well, I'm going to stop rolling for a bit now that I've started up Sun Chaser Shaman. And I'm just going to focus on getting to level 9 here soon. Considering there's no one else I need to star up. I'd like more water spirits, but I don't know where they are. They're hiding from me. Those water spirits are hiding from me. Ah. And, oh, for people who are curious, I am standing. Standing. Huh. Funny, isn't it? I gotta do the standing sitting thing. I can't just be sitting and I can't just be standing you know it kind of drives me nuts to be sitting for too long but then I also you know it's painful to be standing for too long <laughs> life is full of that kind of stuff it sucks to sit it sucks to stand we know Jake gosh you're so relatable let's see another magic of staff I'm gonna take this and uh, we're just going to continue to increase the ability damage of our water spirit here as for this next item uh, I don't Let's see, if we have Feathered that we're dealing, we don't have a single Feathered we're dealing with. If we did, I would make this here, this Oblivion Staff. It's still not bad, but we don't have a single Feathered unit we're dealing with. We also have the possibility of making this a Maelstrom, which isn't bad either. Neither I feel like are great. Like I don't love either of them. I'll think about which one I'd rather make. And then here, I'm just going to save a little money. I'd like to go to level 9, probably get Doom out there. I think that's what I'll do. Let's see. I also could see staying here at level 8 until I get someone I absolutely need, you know? Cattlehide armor. Cattlehide armor is something that you could throw on. Ooh, a life crystal, magic a crystal. Okay. Cattlehide armor you can just throw on your uh, God of War up here. You can't throw an item on any of your shamans. Once your shamans transform, they don't get any of the benefits from your items. So don't put an item on your shamans. Don't put an item on your shamans. It feels like a country song a little bit to me. I know, I know, it doesn't at all. Who could use a monocrystal? I guess you, maybe? I don't know. I would love to get another unit out there at this point. Either Argali or Doom. Who do I like more? I mean, Doom's pretty dope. Argali's pretty dope, too. I like them both a lot. But since I'm going up against so many knights, I don't know. Lucky coin. Mmm, we already got you, right, goddess? I could get a flame wizard out there as well, you know? 
Let's see here. We're on a nice streak. We've got goblins we're dealing with. That's a lot of health. We got knights we're dealing with. That's a lot. We got like lots of knights. Knights and goblins. Might be a good idea just if we find dark spirit to throw dark spirit out there, right? I am going to level us. Put doom out here. Just kind of like there. Let's kind of give doom some items here. Where are these? Doom is good for us. Uh, you know, he's a great unit, has a great ability that he can cast, and then also he's super strong, he's beefy. Doesn't mess with our synergies because he's demon, and we already have demon canceling itself out. Yeah, this is going to be tough to beat. We need some... We need some muscle. Let's see what we get. A strange egg. Okay. I am the egg man. What do we got on you? That, that, that. There's something else that's just kind of lingering on a useless person. That. Yeah, that. Okay, I am going to... I can make another... We're not dealing with like a crazy carry, really. The knights maybe might have one. The goblins are just big sacks of health. You know? I'm gonna make... I'll make a python wand for you. I'll probably make the armor too. Dealing with these goblins again. Yeah, it's a dark spirit. A lot of great casting out of that dark spirit. Great casting today, dark spirit! That was weird. Did you guys see Water Spirit shoot across the battlefield and do nothing? Now, right now, it's a bummer not having this Water Spirit start up at all, like a three-star Water Spirit, but I've found none of these Water Spirits. I've just been so unlucky with these Water Spirits, so I don't think that's going to happen for us. This build is not unbeatable for us. I would like to get a Legendary out on the field, like someone good. Sun Chaser, we've already got you. I got an egg. I could save this egg for a legendary. I could also save it for water spirit. I'm not going to use it on God of War. I'm not going to use it on one of these two jerks. Mm -hmm. Item wise, what am I looking for here? Well, penguin staff is nice. Um, flicker's okay. Not my favorite. Ice armor's very good. So we'll see. We'll see what we can get out of these people. What we're not really interested in is any of those crazy like attack speed items or anything. Ice armor is, I think, our best option here. Phantom Queen. Phantom Queen's pretty good. We could get Phantom Queen out on the board instead of Doom, maybe? Hmm, I like Phantom Queen here. They will Let's give it a shot. We'll make one of these. I want to get this armor. I could put it on Phantom Queen, actually. And this Python wand. Just going to see how this works out. Everything's on U2, right? Yeah. I could even move another item. If we two-star Phantom Queen, I'd rather do that. But let's see what we got going on here. Who are we against? I'm not sure what I'm looking at. We got Cave Shaman. Is that what I'm up against? Okay. So Phantom Queen's doing some work, huh? Got another life crystal. Lucky coin, Mysterial Staff. Ooh, Mysterial Staff's nice for us. So I am going to make a uh, Scythe of Vise. A.K.A. the Penguin Staff. I'll put it on... I could try it over on... Uh, over on our Phantom Queen here. And then... A couple options here. I do like this item. I'm going to make it. We good? I could put one more thing on you. Sure. Okay, where was I? Alright, so we're coming to the end of the round here. Or the end of the match, I should say. This is the only person I'm worried about. And I'd like a Dark Spirit, honestly, to help deal with all this HP. But beyond that, I mean, we've got our two Divine Units. A two-star Phantom Queen might be the other call here, you know. 
like really increasing our damage, but ugh, they're just eating us alive. They get they have so much life. Let's see, there's our water spirit. The question is, when do I start rolling hard? They killed the other person. Hmm. Hmm. Well, he's got a lot stacked on Venomancer. All right. I'll make one of these. Just to hopefully decrease that Venomancer's healing a little bit. I also can put, I guess, a mask on you. I don't know. And I'm going to need to roll... I'm gonna need to roll here. So, what we're looking for right now, I could go to level 10, but that costs a lot of gold. The unfortunate thing is we do a lot of burst damage early. If I had a two-star Phantom Queen, this might end this actually pretty easily. I'll have to see if I can make that work. Okay, I'm gonna start rolling here pretty hard. We're dead otherwise. Storm Shaman, no. Grand Herald, fine. Scryer. Lava Shaman. Doom. Soul Devour. Mm, Cannon Granny. As opposed to who? Water Spirit? Divine Cannon Granny is very good, but I'd really like to get this Phantom Queen. Nothing. Hmm. I could put Scryer out there, um, but I don't think there's anyone who she beats cost-wise right now, right? It's like the same. Lava Shaman is costs five. Because if I, I think I'm doing that math right. Water Spirit was three star, or if Phantom Queen was two star, I think we'd be in a much better position right now. I don't know that I'm going to be able to use Scryer. I'm trying to think if I would want to swap Scryer, but I like I like getting the cave synergy. I already have my four shaman synergy. I could do natural four shaman, but then I lose divine. You know? Like if I took Scryer and I swapped one of the wizards, I'd also have to have Zeus, and we don't have Zeus. Decisions, decisions. I'm sure there's an answer that's screaming at me in the face, but right now my thought is let's get this Phantom Queen to two star, Water Spirit to three star. Dark Spirit would be a nice unit too. I get a second ice armor. I get a second ice armor. That's what I'm gonna do. I like that. Refresher orb on you, yeah. Okay, uh, I'm gonna keep looking. There's water spirit, there's god of war. We're close with god of war. I'm gonna get rid of scryer, I think. I, I don't have another way to do this. Cannon Granny's just laughing at me. There's God of War. So we have a three-star God of War. It's not what I'm looking for, though. I need... Oh, that double ice is nice, though, huh? Nice way to start the round. I wonder if that's going to be the thing that saved us. No. We're still going to get eaten alive by this Venomancer, I think. Two-star Phantom Queen, three-star Water Spirit. That's like... That's where we're at right now. We're really close. I think either one of those kind of tips it for us. But we don't have it. Not yet. Doom. No. No. There's Water Spirit. Gosh, we're so close. So close! Uh, positioning wise, I wonder, I mean, maybe I could stack God of War and just move him over a little bit. That will help me a little. I'm not positive if this helps or hurts. I'm going to try to move God of War closer to the center. And just maybe soak up a little more early damage. 
Yeah, it does not a big deal because that Venomancer is teleporting around the battlefield, right? It's all up to that Venomancer, really. We're getting close. The Penguin Staff saved us right there. The nice thing is, uh, ending this streak of theirs, this is really positive for us. Might give us enough gold to find one of these two units. Phantom Queen! Welcome. Okay. A strange Egg? Yes. Soul Devourer. Ooh, there's a Water Spirit, too. I can lock for that. Or do I just sell... No, I can't sell one of the eggs. I need one of the eggs, right? So I'm going to Egg Phantom Queen. That's going to be really nice for us. And then next round, we get our three-star Water Spirit. Yeah. Okay. So, we're kind of coming to the end here. Now we're just, like, trying to navigate the last little bit here. Two-star in this Phantom Queen is really nice because the ability is just going to get stronger and stronger and stronger, you know? Oof. Gosh, that Venomancer just beating us up. Oh, and that Dark Spirit two starred. Boy, good for you, Dark Spirit. This is coming down to the nitty gritty. I'm seeing where that Venomancer is teleporting. Now, if I was a smarter man, I would be able to counter him better. All right. Let's see. One human was harmed in the okay. This game. <laughs> That's three stars. That's nice for us. So we're watching that Venomancer teleport to this bottom right square. I wonder if there's a smart... I mean, is it smart to swap God of War down there? Or is that just a huge mistake? Let's find out. Let's find out. Did Jake make a huge mistake? He certainly could have. Or did I really shut that unit down so that he has to focus on a useless person for a while? That's what I'm hoping for. Just had him deal with God of War for a while. Um, that might have helped, right? Turn him into a penguin! Yeah, I was gonna say. Stop him from attacking. Become a penguin already, buddy. How bad was that? Ooh, so close. So close. I should have done that earlier. Okay. Now we're heading to the Glacier Clan. So, am I going to get enough gold to level? No. I am not. Huh. Given that I'm not going to get enough gold to level, is there anything I want on the battlefield that I don't currently have? I don't really think so. I think the rest of this is just going to be up to positioning him not finding some item that really ruins me. Me perhaps finding another item that's really good for me. A flicker staff might be in the card, just keeping, you know, my uh, my divine crazy units alive longer with my phantom queen and my water spirit. I'm trying to think of what else I would like to do here. We get this Dragon Thorn Bracer, which I can't do anything with, right? I don't have another Ice Armor. And then I've also got this. I'm, I'm going to do Refresher. And this just lets our Phantom Queen cast twice. This gives us Ability Life Steal. I could put that on Water Spirit, I think, instead of like a Mask or something. As far as these items... Oh, I, I, sh I should move you back. I don't even know who to put these on. You, I think. Who else do they go on? All right, let's see what happens. I think we're going to do okay. Got those two casts out of Phantom Queen early. That's really nice. And yeah, this is just Divine Shaman. Win or lose, we made it. You know, this is the build. It's not per I'm not perfect at it, but this is about a this is about as good of a Divine Shaman as you're going to find with with, with exceptions in certain units, you know? Um, yay, we won! So there are certain units you can switch around. If we had Zeus, we could do a natural 
Shaman Divine, and that would be taking out that uh, demon. We wouldn't need it anymore. We would put the Zeus in for one of those uh, units, and um, and then we could do it that way. We could also, if we wanted to keep wizards, we could swap out, you know, like the goddess and put Zeus in its place. Zeus is a great unit for this, but Zeus was not one of the legendary units we could use. I could see people using a lot of different legendary units for this build, but that's what we ended up doing. So I hope you enjoyed that. That was requested by Eric Franklin. He wanted to see Divine Shaman. So hopefully that was a helpful step-by-step -step guide to at least my thought process on a pretty basic Divine Shaman. Let me know what you think in the comments. I love you all. Thank you for watching. You're heroes and I'm a villain. I don't know where I was going. Goodbye. Mwah.